I had been dying to try a milk bath photo shoot, but I don't have a beautiful bathtub to photograph. However, the weather is so nice, I bought a kiddie pool, six gallons of milk, and used hose water and some boiled water to put one together outside. Even though it was nice out, I thought adding boiled water was very important because we were adding cold milk to the bath, so we really didn't want to freeze out our bottles. I had Megan get into the bath first, and my intern Abby was holding an umbrella to block the sun, that way we could get a nice shot that wasn't in direct sunlight. I started off using fake flowers and real lemons. I wish I had a lot more flowers because everything kept floating away from my models. Next, I had Olivia and she hopped in and she was so excited to work with me. I started picking off some leaves and flowers and putting them into the milk bath because the fake flowers kept soaking up with water even though they were covered with scotch guard. I also placed an empty plastic storage bin in the water, that way Olivia can rest her head on it and it wouldn't look like she was fighting to stay above the milk bath. The cleanup process in between was definitely the most difficult part. We didn't want the milk to be dirty as well as the hair and the skin of our models. Sarah was my final model for the day and we were taking out the flowers in between each girl, drying them off, putting them back in. That way they wouldn't soak up that much water. If I did it again, I would definitely use real flowers and it would just help them float a lot better. While planning the shoot, I definitely wanted to make sure that I was talking to the models, helping them pick out what to wear. The general consensus was a pretty bathing suit, um, but they could really choose whatever they wanted that would kind of fit with the colors that we were going to use. I generally did shoot down at each model, but I did try and mix it up within each session. I used my 50 millimeter lens, so that way it would be a nice distance from them. I didn't want it to be too wide because I didn't want you to tell that it was in a kiddie pool. Most of all, I really just wanted this session to be fun. I had them kind of play with the props. I moved flowers to their face because I really wanted to get the color in there even though the flowers are all floating away from them. And you really could do this with any sort of prop, glitter, actual cereal, anything. After we were done, we had to empty the kiddie pool and I made sure that I hosed out the milk water just because I did not want the yard to smell and I definitely did not want to attract any sort of animals to the yard to eat my little puppy. If you liked my work, follow me on Instagram at kgarciaprod.